Do not. Do not be afraid. Uh huh. And from terror. For now. It. Now. Now. I want you to read this. Just continue reading because the terror is coming while something has been said in between concerning fear. Mm. But the terror here that you see is again in reference to the distance. Yes. You shall be far from what? Oppression. O o oppression. Uh -huh. For thou shalt not fear uh -huh. and from terror. And from terror. Okay. So you will be far from oppression and you will be far from terror. Terror. This COVID-19 has become an act of terrorism. Far from oppression, far from what? Terror. Are you personalizing this? Yes, Father. Go ahead and read. For it shall not come near thee. Distance again. <laughs> what shall not come near thee? Terror. And what? Restoration. What stops it from coming near you? It, there is an environment around the child of God oh, yes. that expels forces. Yes. I like this. I like this. I will hear about it, but I can't have it. Mm. No terror in my house. The only terror that you can have in your house is the terror that is coming from your house. It can't be far away from you if it's being manufactured by you. It has to be as close as it can to the manufacturer. It, it, no, go ahead and read. Behold, uh, they shall surely gather together. If God says behold, he's saying, look, mm. this is becoming a vision to you. You will behold as they gather. Mm. Behold, they shall what? Gather together. Yeah, mm. but not by me. But not by me. So they are gathering together, the teaming up. When they all come together in agreement that they would want to terrorize me and destroy you, they shall gather together. But I want to make an announcement that I'm not a part of that gathering. I didn't summon them. This is God now. He said, when you see them doing what they are doing, don't blame me for what they are doing to you. I'm not a part of it. It's not by me. I didn't sanction that meeting. They shall surely gather together. Is there surely? Surely. <laughs> Are you ever going to stop them from gathering? No. There is a surely. Let them gather in the village. Let them gather under the ocean. Mm. The gathering, he's saying, there's nothing you can do to stop it. Surely they shall what? Gather, gather together. But I'm not a member in that committee. Not by me. I didn't, I didn't allow that. They shall surely gather, but not by me. Eh? Whosoever shall gather together against thee. Gathering, if that gathering. <laughs> Let them discuss buildings and everything else. But if they gather, why should you be afraid? God is already telling you that you're not dealing with one witch here. It's a gathering of wizards. Let's graduate, please, ladies and gentlemen. Let's graduate. Let's, let's go over this. It's a, it's, a, it's a cluster of adversaries. Combining all their ammunition against you. Why should we be afraid of these guys? They are gathering against you and whosoever shall gather together against thee ah. shall fall. 
For what? For thy sake. Thy sake. <laughs> I like this. I embrace it. I embrace it. I embrace this. So, God is saying, don't come up with a strategy. Don't find ways of bringing them down. What brings them down is their gathering. They will fall for, for thy sake. So what he's saying is, when you see them fall, the force, the gravity there is you. <laughs> you didn't get that, right? You didn't. You'll be at home hearing breaking news. This is what has happened. They have fallen. And you will know it is because of who? You will receive the message from wherever they are. It will be reported that they have fallen. The educated are falling. The corrupt are falling. Are you hearing this? Yes. They will fall for thy sake. Mm -hmm. huh. But are you telling me that if a post-mortem is to be done, will they ever find out the reason behind their fall? No. It, will not be, it will not be found. No. You will cause men to fall and they will look at you and they will say, this little boy, your size, you think you can. And yet, giants will fall. Yes. Wherever they gather. Sit down. I'm one of those little guys. <laughs> I've, 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 honestly, I've been discussed in different uh, disciplines of life. <laughs> And I've watched people fall. Yes. And they have no idea yes. what hits them. Yeah. Yes. They're being hit every single day. Because yes. when I'm coming, you don't see me. <laughs> Once you've discovered that this is Jacob. Please take note. There is no enchantment against him. Mm -hmm. They must take this as a warning. Even your wizards, your witches that are coming again, they must take this same one. They must personalize it. For thy sake they will fall. But because you are not aware of this promise, you'll be wondering what is, what is happening to people. You have to be honest enough, take that responsibility, child of God. You are making them fall. Mm. Mm. You never thought that you had that power, right? No. Now you know. Read it. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Mm -hmm. Whosoever shall gather together against thee mm. shall fall for thy sake. Behold. Behold now. Be look at this. Uh -huh. I have created. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, uh, eh, eh, eh. Eh. <laughs> Hear this. The verse we read was verse 17, where he says, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, right? Yes. Now this is verse what? Verse 16. So you know, you know, you people, you are educated enough to know that 16 comes before 17. Yeah. So all along you've been reading verse 17, no weapon fashioned against you, but you never had access to the reason behind the failure of the weapon. Mm -hmm. It's in verse number 16. Mm -hmm. Behold what? 
Behold, I have created the smith. The smith. I have created the smith. That what? That bloweth the coals in the fire. So notice what is being created there is a weapon. And the weapon is being created by a creature created by the creator. I have created the smith that blows the coal in the fire. In the fire. Mm. Uh -huh. and, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And he brings forth an instrument from that fire for his work, for his practice, for his craft. Are you done? And I have created the waster to destroy. And I have created the waster to destroy. Now, if you start teaching people on <laughs> how far God is involved. Ah, oh, let me not say, let me not say that. <laughs> let me not say that. Hey, 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 hey. Let me find a better way of saying it. Let me leave this one. This just one. You know, God is saying, let, let, let me leave that one. Let me leave that one. I, will, I might come back to that. But for now, let me, let me leave it. <laughs> Let there be peace. <laughs> God's presence comes in different forms and different measures. Jesus himself has been to hell. So since he's a God who is everywhere, he's everywhere in different forms. But this kind of presence of God that I was saying we need to cultivate, it's a presence of God that really makes things happen. And there's the presence of God that when you have God present in a place, still evil can prevail while it's God is present. Watching you going through an attack and he does nothing to stop it. And there's another presence that stops the attack of the enemy. Two different presences. God has a certain kind of presence that he has that is present even when witchcraft is being practiced. A percentage of God in witchcraft Do you honestly think that if God is to withdraw himself and everything that is his from a witch, a witch would survive? Hear this. 
Sit down, let me explain this nicely. Nicely. Very soon, we will allow the healing power of God that heals people and heals situation to penetrate. Very soon, we are going somewhere. This cannot just be a message that goes away without us realizing what it is talking about. No. No. If God says, I created the smith. That creates an instrument in the fire. What God is saying, which of course the instrument eventually become the weapon. That's why I said let's start by physical instruments, a gun against you, a knife is coming from the fire. Are you following? Yes, and that can become a weapon and somebody can bring that into your house and use it against you. It's a weapon that came out of the fire, but before it came out of the fire, it had to come out of the mind of the smith. But before it came out of the mind of the smith, the smith had to come out of the mind of God. So God is saying, keep on, keep on playing the tap backwards. You get to a place where you realize that had I not created the man who then became the smith, then the smith wasn't ever going to be able to create the weapon. So how does that comfort me? Why should I be happy about that? In fact, I should be angry that you, how could you create such a, such, you created a waster. God is saying, I did not create witchcraft. I created the woman that then became a witch. What I created was a man who then became the smith. So I'm involved in as far as his creation is concerned. But in as far as his own creation, what he created is concerned, I'm not involved. But what do I do as God, the creator of the smith? This is where the comfort is now. God is saying, don't be afraid of the weapon because me being the creator, I'm behind the mind that formulates the weapon. So what I will do from here as the creator of the smith is to starve the smith of adequate intelligence. I will not supply enough information as to how to come about with the best weapon. Oh my God, sit, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Ah, oh my God. Sit down, sit down, sit down, please. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Can you see how God is even involved in the industry where weapons are being made? God is saying, the reason why you shouldn't be afraid is because somehow I will have to participate in the formulation of the weapon. What am I there to do? To create, to ensure that within the weapon there is a weakness that you have to master. Mm. If it takes seven ingredients for a charm to be fully developed, And that charm would be so powerful to devastate you and to destroy your entire generation. What I will do is I will limit the smith. I will help him not find the seventh ingredient. Yes. So that at any point 
the weapon is not sufficient. It doesn't have everything that it takes for it to bring you down. So what I would do as the creator of the smith that creates the weapon, what I would do now is I will make sure you need me there. Don't just say, God, come here, spend time with me. You also need to pray that I stay with the smith. You need me to be present in your enemy's territory. You need me there. Pray that I am there. While they are cooking, formulating, fashioning a weapon, I have to be there looking at the weapon and knowing your capacity. I will make sure that it is fine-tuned below your capacity to handle. So that you can manage it. Any weapon coming from any direction, God is saying, wherever it comes from, I was there in the laboratory. I'm there. Let them create all the diseases they want. I will somehow make them make a mistake. And suddenly the virus is weakened. It's no longer as effective as they thought. Why? I created the physician. I created the scientist. Look at this kind of God. (laughs) So, So when he says no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, he's saying at the point of its design, I will temper with the concept, the design of the weapon. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now begin to think that every disease, every infection, every attack, whether it's poverty,
it's coming at a lower level. Yes. You can handle this child of God. You can manage this. You can manage this. Sit down. I, 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 I want to close. I want to close. But before we close, something has to be done. I, I, we, are, we are here to hand over miracles to people. Yes. Today is your day. Yes. Today is your day. When we talk about the creation of a weapon against a child of God to whom righteousness is given and that righteousness is of God. When you peep into that industry where they are busy creating weapons, you say, oh God, what would then become of us? And he says, I am their creator. If I'm involved in their witchcraft, this is how far I get involved to weaken it. You know what your enemy has finally discovered? You want to know? He has realized that you are on God's side and God is on your side and you are one with him, right? So, if he tries to get into the forest and find three herbs that are supposed to be mixed together and one life is formulated, which is a combination of three lives of different herbs, because that, that is really what works. Hmm? It's not in a mango tree to destroy people. Hmm? No stick in the forest right now that you can take and you throw in the air and there's lightning. Hmm? We have a pastor here. While he was in another country, in Zambia. Pastor Elias there, him. He was given charge over a big company. And a few days after this company was handed over to him, he fired one guy. He dismissed a guy who has been there for years and he was known to be the spirit of the organization. And when that was announced and it was said that it was him who did that, every man who knows this man, they held their mouth. You don't touch that man, he was told. You don't touch this man. He, 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 he was something else. He was a demon. And then, of course, knowing him, he said, if the guy is incompetent, I can't have him here. Why should I pay him? If he's getting things wrong, and people warned him, get this guy back if you want to leave. And finally the guy himself comes and he told him that a week, seven days is all that you have. Seven days. You have to reinstate me. And he said, we are here to do business. This is not in a dream. While he was sitting in the house in the afternoon. <laughs> if you are to see the pictures, how lightning came, destroyed from the roof, down 
and it destroyed the, the table. If you see pieces of the table and, and a, a hall that was dug in the house, on the concrete, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Right in front of him. We're, talk, we're talking about... <laughs> If you don't believe in witchcraft, those of you in America, God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your America. Here, we are dealing with something else. Yeah. Yeah. Attacks are at a certain level. You think that's a coincidence? Having been told, given an ultimatum, that level of destruction, and he survived that. He said, I'm not, and we are not here to talk about what then happened to him. <laughs> they will fall for your sake. 